and I'm about to drop this little screw, that screw, down through the compressor so you can all hear the terrible sound you never want to hear when working on turbine engines. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. If you have a Tri-5 Bel Air that's a 55, 56, or 57, 150, 210, or Bel Air, then you have these wipers. And you have to pull this little pin back here and then this pops right off and gently set that down. And you have these two red pins on either end. You push one of them, but you slide this up until that pops out and then this whole rack will slide out of here. So when you press this red tab down, it opens this kind of like claw and this slides off this way and pops off and slides off the end of the wiper blade. And then this blade slides right out of there. And then there's these little tabs that kind of hold it in place so it doesn't slide around on these guys but you get this metal rail off of the old wiper blade. You get the old wiper out and you have this blade and then you need to attach it to your new blade. Now I've seen these complete this and this and this all as one unit with new rubber and these are all shiny and it's anywhere from 60 to 160 bucks depending on how new and how shiny. If these aren't missing or broken you can reuse these by buying a replacement. The replacement will come with these weird little wands it's a 19-12 300 millimeter Anco G92086, 12 inch, 19-12. It's all floppy unless you put these guys in it, but on both ends, you need this open end so it can slide into this guy like it's supposed to. But on this end, I really just took a knife and cut off, I want to say two, maybe three millimeters, just to the edge of where that hole is at the top here. Then you install this into this and this into this and put it back the way you took it off. Once you've reassembled, just pull the pin and then put it back on the wiper arm. Pretty easy. 